Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm so excited for today's video because I already have a chai. I'm very excited about it. Jeremy and I went out, got chais, but this afternoon, probably right around noon-ish, my friend Liz and I are going to go thrifting together. She texted me and asked me if I would wanna go thrifting with her, and I said, of course, like that is so much fun for me. So we enjoy going thrifting together. I know you guys have met her a few times, but she I asked if she wanted to go to the bins or if she wanted to go to Second Avenue and she said Second Avenue. So we're gonna head to the thrift store here in a little bit. I'm gonna eat some lunch before I head out and then we're gonna go and look together. I know she also is going to be a new aunt here soon and I'm a new aunt. So I think we're gonna look in the kids section as well. So that should be fun. But I'm also going to be looking for things to resell and I always have really good luck here. So I looked online and there are three different color there are three different colors on sale today. I think blue is 50% off and silver and pink are 33% off. So it's gonna be a good day of thrifting and I'm gonna take you guys along with me, of course. So let's head to the thrift store and see what we can find today. So here I am at Second Avenue. I'm looking through the frame section. I always like to find frames and this looks like Odie at the little poodle welcome sign. I ended up not buying this, but I wanted to show you guys and I did find some other cool frames and Liz found some really cool frames too. So you'll see a couple of those here in a little bit. But I also want to let you guys know as I'm shopping here that I am having a sale on my Poshmark closet. So because Jeremy and I both turned 27 in the past month, I'm having a 27% off sale on everything in my Poshmark closet. So if you like anything or have been thinking about buying anything, now is the time. You bundle anything you want and I will send you a 27% off offer or you can send it to me and I'll accept it. But here we have a pair of Madewell jeans and I love picking up Madewell jeans, but these were a mid-rise pair of jeans and they were in a size 25. And so that's so small, I decided to pass on these for $10. And then I found a pair of rag and bone jeans and they had such bad, like the pulling around the crotch area was really bad, but they were such a good price. It would have been like four bucks. Now these, I feel like my face is gonna just say it all here in a second, like what? And then I just found so many pairs of shoes. I found those hokas that are pink, they're so cute. You'll see a lot of shoes in the haul and they were all a great price. And then I'm just kind of wandering, looking at the little kid shoes a little bit because I'm dreaming about, you know, my nephew and wanting to find some cool shoes for him maybe. And that was a cart of new shoes. So I looked at that briefly and we're in the swimwear section. I was just kind of looking around everywhere. I wasn't going to spend a lot of time here because I was with Liz and she is not going to want to spend like seven hours in a thrift store like me, but I did find some really cool stuff and I did find a lot of good, honestly, the shoes are where it was at today. So you'll see a lot of those in the hall. We're checking out and Liz, that was her cart. She found a lot of stuff too. And I found a whole heart, a whole cart full as well. But I am kind of jealous of this picture that she found. Like if I would have found that, I would have bought that. I love it. But that's the haul. I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay, friends, we are back home. It is the next day and I literally hit the jackpot. Like I feel like I won at the thrift store. Liz and I found so many amazing things. And every time I go to Second Avenue, I literally find so many things that I spend about $100 every time. And once you spend $100, then you get 10% off on your next purchase which is great by the way. But because of that, I was able to not only, I checked out first and I was done checking out and then I got to use my loyalty for Liz as well. So she got 10% off. It was wonderful. We had a great time. I'm so glad that she went to go thrifting. I had so much fun. So I have lots of pieces of clothing, lots of shoes, a few home goods. Try to decide. I think I'll show you guys the home goods as well. But let's jump into it and man, I found one dress that should resell for like $800, which is so good oh i'm so excited also the shoes were popping let's start with the shoes those were so good i just wore a pair yesterday so let me go grab them so first off i found three pairs of hokas at the thrift store which is crazy i've never found any there but they were all in different sizes so i was like these came out at different times this first pair i didn't even realize they were in my size until i got them home because i knew i was going to buy them but these ones are a pair of black hokas Hoka One Ones, 
and look how cool they are they're just like a nice black pair of tennis shoes and the lady was rolling these out while i was like in a nearby aisle i was looking at some clothes i saw her with a cart full of shoes going to put them out and i saw these at the front of her cart and i literally was like can i please have those and she's like are you sure you want them they're men's and i was like yeah i'm sure i'm sure i want them and these are actually they're a women's size nine which is great they're a size european 41 and what these are in the clifton 7 style and i've never owned a pair of hokas i thought about getting a pair the other day actually so to have found these and then realized that they were my size and that they were a neutral color which i would totally wear was a win for me guess how much these were these were $5.99 so i paid six dollars for this pair of hokas they're a little bit like dirty on the edges but i really don't care and that affects their use like not at all so I got this pair for $6 and I think that was the most expensive pair of hokas I bought, which is crazy. The resale on hokas is I sold a pair or two for around $40 or $50. So you're looking at about $50 per pair, which is pretty good. So I'm going to share, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other two pairs while I'm already talking about hokas. This is the second pair. They're a really fun kind of teal bluish green color with some pinkish accents. I personally love selling shoes. I think that reusing shoes is important and people throw away shoes after, you know, they still have a lot of life left in them. These ones have great tread. It looks like they've barely been worn. Again, they're a little dirty just on the sides, but I don't think that that's a big issue at all. And these are in a women's size eight or European size 40. And these were only $4.49, which is an amazing price for a pair of tennis shoes. So these, again, these are an interesting color. If these are a rare color, I might be able to sell them for more. But again, I'm hoping probably around $50 for these. And I have my receipt somewhere. I know that I did not pay full price for anything. I got 10% off or something similar off of the whole amount. So I didn't pay the full price on any of these items. Plus all blue tags were half off and pink and silver were 33% off. So I think I paid something like $70 for everything you're going to see today, maybe 80 but this is the last pair of hokas. These are probably my favorite. I love them. Look how cute this pink colored pair is. These are phenomenal. Again, dirty across the bottom, but Jeremy can scrub these with a toothbrush or I can throw them through the wash. But I really like this pink color and these have a really nice like cushiony back to them, which I think is great. These were marked at $4.49, which again is really good for a pair of tennis shoes. And these ones are a little larger. These are a women's size 10. So a women's size 10, I think these are the Clifton 7. Yep, they're a Clifton 7 as well. And they're a really cute pink color. I'm assuming this is probably not even sold anymore. I don't know. But I'll probably throw these ones through the wash because they also have a little bit of dirt on one of their um, laces. So again, though, for one of these, probably hopefully at least 50 bucks. That would be so good. And just with those two pieces that pays for the haul, if I can get those sold, because I was going to sell those black hokas, but I think I'm going to keep those for when I take Otis on walks. Like, I'm excited about finding a pair for myself. That was such a good find. But now let's get into a few pieces of clothing. This first piece, it looks so tiny, but this is a women's size zero little Lily Pulitzer dress. And I saw these colors poking out from the dress section and I just knew. I went to see Liz in that section, saw this dress, pulled it out and said, okay, I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> this is a cute little like just straight across neckline, really fun little tie detail, kind of shorter dress. And this is from Lily Pulitzer in a size zero. And here is the Lily Pulitzer tag. And this is a brand that I do pretty well reselling. Their dresses tend to go for a pretty good amount and usually around at least $50. Some dresses, especially if they're long or have a lot of detail to them, can sell for over $100, which is amazing. And this one is in 100% cotton. So I've got to figure out what the style name is for this. I don't love that this is a really small size. That is not ideal for Lily Pulitzer, but I do think that it should be able to resell pretty well. It has some fun boning throughout the bodice and it does have a zipper on the side. And I thought this was a really kind of cute, kind of like really cute kind of ditzy kind of print. So hopefully we can resell that around probably at least 50 bucks for that dress. And then we have this Madewell t-shirt dress, which I think is really cute. It is a kind of dark, I, don't, I would not say navy, but it's a dark blue color. 
and I really enjoy selling Madewell. It does pretty well for me. This is from Madewell in a size large. Honestly, it might fit me. Maybe I should keep it. No, I shouldn't. This was only marked at $6.29 for a dress, which is really good, especially in my area. All dresses are at least $7.99 normally, so I spent under $6 for the dress after I did all my other discounts, and I am happy with that. For a Madewell dress like this, Madewell dresses, I've actually been selling lately around like $50, but since this is just like a t-shirt dress, I'm probably gonna expect more like maybe $40, $35, somewhere around in that area, but Again, still worth it for five bucks. I thought it was cute. And then we have something that I didn't even really, oh, shut up, oh my gosh. That's a really great find. Okay, so then we bought, I found two different little sports sack bags. And these I'm willing to pay up for only because in my experience, I will buy little sports sack bags and they will sell within a day. I don't know why there's such a quick turnaround on this brand. I think it's because people will know which color they want, which style they want and they're willing to pay for it and find it. This is such a cute style. And I know I have some viewers that actually know like all of these styles. So if you know what this is, please let me know. Look how cute that is. There's like swans and butterflies and bows and hearts and flowers. And it's like all on this like rainbowy road and there's popsicles. It's so cute. And what I'm excited about, well, it has a cute strap too with the little pink and purple lining on the edges. I didn't realize they still have the little pouch on the inside. That's exciting. I didn't even know sometimes they have pouches, um, but that's great. So we have a matching little little pouch. And this was only like $9, so that was a great find. I sell these around $35 in the past, but sometimes they go for more like 50 or 65. I sold them at a couple of different price ranges, but I'm glad I looked inside. So this is what it looks like. It is a little sports pack and it has that adjustable crossbody strap. So you can wear it as like a little hobo bag on the side. This is really, that was a good find. And I found this one right next to it. So I'm, I'm so glad I grabbed both of them. Then this one, I think is like a little Paris one maybe. Look at this, it has the Eiffel Tower. It says, ooh la la. It does say Paris on it right there. And then it has, I love the sports sack and like different little bags and cutesy things. That black kind of as a base. And the other side, the strap is just all plain black. Has a little bit of rainbows. It's really cute. And it also has a sack on the inside. This one's a bigger little clutch bag or a little sport sack that goes with it. Very interesting. I need all of my little sport sack people that have knowledge to come out of the woodworks and tell me what the heck these things are. That was a good find too. Wow. I'm excited about that. I think that's really cute. So yeah, I'm hoping to sell both of those for at least $50 a piece. Hopefully that would be great. And then I only picked up two pairs of denim this time while I was there. I refrained myself. There was a pair of Madewell jeans, but they were too expensive to resell. There was a pair of Pilker on the letterpress jeans that I would normally have picked up and free pool jeans that I normally would have picked up, but they've just been sitting for me. So I practiced self-control and left them behind, but I did grab these two pairs of jeans and boy, they do, they smell good. I don't know who was wearing these, but these smell amazing. This first pair of jeans, I only knew what they were because of a recent pickup I had from Uptown Cheapskate, but this is by the brand Pistola, which is a Revolve brand. It can be sold at Revolve, and it's a nice denim brand, and these are in size 29. But these are sort of a fun little skinny jean, kind of like moto almost skinny jean. It has a zipper up here on the side, and these fun zippers up here on the top. And these are really kind of cute. Like I like that it has a lot of details and that's another reason why I picked it up. They have the YKK zippers. It's a really kind of cute pair of jeans and they were a great price. The price was definitely right for only $6.79. I think that's the lowest they usually mark their women's denim at. And so I was happy to pay it for a pair of high quality denim. I think I should be able to resell those hopefully around 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more. And then this pair of jeans was with the other Pilker on the letterpress pair of jeans, but this one was such a cute style that I picked it up. So it is from Anthropologies, Pilker on the letterpress. And these are the high rise slim jeans in a size 26, which is a small size, but look at this. Like, look how cute this is. We have patch pockets here on the front and then a button fly with that really cute little like V cutout detail right there. And they are a slim jean with a really good, like not distressing, but the wash on these is really nice. And I really think that that is cute. And then they have almost like, they almost look like a little bit of a mom jean on the butt, which I think is fun. I like these a lot. And these, again, the price was definitely right for $6.79. 
I'm hoping that I can sell these or put them up around $50 and then hope to sell them at least 35 to 40 ish. That would be good. So then let's talk about these next two pairs of shoes. This pair is a pair of Merrells. And I really, I think that I sell Merrells pretty well. I think that Merrell makes really nice shoes. They have a really nice bottom. And these were only marked at $5.99. These are a black suede with that really cool back little pole. And that's why I grabbed these initially because I thought that pole looked really nice. And then I looked these up and these are called, what, the Waterproof Mock, I think, from Merrell. And these look like they could resell around $50, sometimes $40, sometimes $60. But I thought those were a nice pair of men's kind of like slip-on moccasins that looked nice enough to, you know, wear to work or church or whatever as well. And these are in a size men's 11. So a European 45. So good color, great shape. These were only $5.99, so I grabbed those. And then we have what I think might be a miss. I found these back behind the trying on little bench and I didn't really look them over these were such a good price I was like okay I'm gonna grab these but I didn't think to look them over this is a pair of coach little wedges which is great and they have the cute little crossover strap they're in good condition they're the Henley and they're in a size nine and a half so I was like oh even if I want to wear them I can now this is the part that's wrong <laughs> they are supposed to have some sort of strap right here or some sort of tie that goes around the ankle. And I didn't realize that, I didn't look for it. So that's unfortunate. This might've been a miss on my part. Or like if you had your own ankle strap, it would totally work. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. They were only $4.99, so they were a great price. They're five bucks, their shoes are so reasonable there. But the, the strappage makes it hard to wear them without having some sort of support, like just how they're designed. So I might try them on and see if I can walk in them. And if I can, then I won't worry so much about that ankle piece, but um, it definitely is gonna affect the price because when I looked them up, they were selling around 50 bucks, but that probably is with an ankle strap, you know? So I will look up some comps, maybe try them on, see what I can do, and hopefully they'll still work out. Let me know what you guys would do in this situation though. And then I ended up going to the little kid section because Liz's sister is about to have a baby and my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, they just had a baby. So I'm newly an aunt, woohoo, so exciting. And we're gonna be able to see the baby soon. They had a boy. And so I got a few different little thrifted goodies for them. We already got them some other things, but I was like, oh, if I'm already here, let's look for the baby as well. So these definitely are not gonna fit him for a while, but I found this super cute pair of little Merrell shoes for a little boy and these are so sweet it's gonna be a little bit of time before he can wear these but these are what a size six these are a size six so it might be a little bit of an overshoot for this they're a toddler for sure though size um but these were silver tags so they were only a dollar so i thought at the least i mean even if they have somebody else they want to give them to i thought those were a cute little merrill shoe and those are really high quality they have a great bottom, so I grabbed those. And then I got three little onesies, and the first one is this. These are all newborn sizes because the baby is still little. They have little embroidered dinosaurs on it. I thought that was so cute. This was 99 cents. And then I got a little farm animal one, which is adorable again. And it really kind of beckons to my Indiana roots. I thought it was pretty sweet. This was 2.29, which is kind of expensive, I feel like, for a baby onesie, but so adorable. And then the last one, which is a zero to three months, but looks a lot bigger than the other ones, is this cute little onesie that says Hungry Little Lion. I thought it was adorable. And this, again, this is from um, Target, actually, originally. And it was $3.49, but it was a silver tag. So I paid less than $2 or somewhere around $2 probably for this one. And it has all the little snaps. Thought those were cute. So I'll be giving those as a gift to them for the little baby. And then while I was in the little kid section, I also found these shoes, which are so cute. They are a pair of Air Force Ones for a kiddo. And I saw Air Force Ones all the time for about 40 bucks. So I was like, I should look these up to see if they're worth reselling just like, you know, as a child's shoe. And I thought they were. Like, they looked like they could resell around $25, which I thought would be fine. These are in a size 11C, whatever that means. And they were $2.99. So for three bucks, and they're in great shape. I thought that was worth it for sure. Look at the bottoms. Like, these are hardly worn. They're really cool. 
and a nice little pair of tennis shoes. So I thought that should do well. And then I found another bag. I think this is the first time I bought so many bags from Second Avenue. And this is a Vera Bradley purse, but I definitely thought it was worth picking up because it was a Disney collab piece. Can you see the stitching in the shape of Mickey Mouse? I thought that this probably had potential because of that. The inside too, we have Mickey Mouse lining. So I grabbed this. It was marked at like, I think like $8 or something. And it's in great condition. And then also on the inside, it says Disney Parks as well. So it's a Vera Bradley Disney Park collab, which I thought should do well. It's in excellent condition. Like it literally looks like it's never been used. And it's really kind of cute. Like if you liked this kind of like more quilted style and Disney, I feel like this would be so up your alley. Look how cool. It's such a nice piece. Like I really think that this could do well. And a lot of the other Disney collab Vera Bradley pieces were selling right around $50. So it could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, but I'm hoping for around $50 for it. this. And it's so nice. Like it's really high quality. Now we only have a few more pieces. If you guys do enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button. It does help me so much. This next piece is a really beautiful wrap dress. So it's gonna be hard to show. It's from J. Krill. And I honestly was first looking at it for myself, but then I kind of decided that I think it wouldn't flatter me. But it is this really fun print. It's got this leopard like print going on. Not leopard print, but a print with a leopard, you know? And it's very tropical, really fun and whimsical. And it's in a size 14 which is a great size. And this was originally $8, 29 cents, but it was silver. So it was 33% off, short sleeve, a little wrap dress. I thought it was so cute. It does have a tie. And then this kind of, it's gonna probably hit right above the knees or right at the knees, but it is a wrap and then it has a tie that ties just right over here on the side. So I thought that was a beautiful dress and it came out to be like five bucks or something. So for a J. Crew dress, if I can sell it around 35 to 50 bucks, I'd be happy with that. And then this is my last pair of shoes. And this is a heartbreaking pair of shoes. Like, why did they paint in these? I don't understand. These are such cool shoes. I see these all the time at my Uptown Cheapskate and they're marked at like 100 bucks. Look at how cool these are. I forget what the name of this style of Nike is, but these are expensive. Like, if you found these, they resell for a lot of money, like 50 to $100, sometimes more. But this person decided that they were gonna paint a room or something in them. There's paint on the bottom and there's some paint right there on that side of that shoe. If you guys have any suggestions on how to get paint off of shoes, let me know. I was thinking about throwing these through the washer first and see if that helps. I'm very upset that they decided to paint in these shoes. Like, ugh. It just kills me a little bit, but these are in a women's size eight and a half, a European 40, and they're so cool. Like it has the gold accent with the silver on the side. I know that some of these are like all silver and that's like the silver bullet or something like that. These are cool. They are in great shape other than the paint. Like there's no wear really to the treads, but they do look a little crazy, like because of the paint splatter. Can you see it on the top here? There's like little specks of it too. It's almost like they did it on purpose. And man, I hate that. <laughs> but these were only $5.99. I mean, $5.99 is a great price for shoes. A little bit pricey for them being covered in paint, but I'll take it. If I can get the paint off, like, I feel like I could sell these around $75 to $100. If I can't get the paint off, I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe 40 bucks. I don't know, especially, it's, it's just really the big splotch of paint that I'm worried about. The little specks, I mean, it's okay. I feel like you can get away with that. But I don't know. We're gonna give it a go. We'll see what I can do. But man, if you find a pair of shoes like this that doesn't have paint all over it, that's a great find. <laughs> okay, we have two more dresses and they're good ones, guys. They're very, very good ones. This first one is absolutely stunning. It's gonna be very difficult to show you, but it is a full length kind of nude under layer, really beautiful gold sequin dress. So we see all the sequins. It's the thickest, of course, over in the bodice area, and it has a short sleeve. It's not just plain sequins, it's a lot of sequins with like floral elements, some flower kind of arrangement, and then it flares all the way down into the bottom of the skirt. And then the back of the skirt has a slit that goes all the way, not all the way up, hopefully, but you know, like, below the butt 
And there's also a zipper on the back. Gorgeous dress. So pretty. This was, oh, what was this marked? It was something crazy. $14.99. It was marked at $15. Which normally I'd be like, oh, that's so expensive because I'm cheap. Very, very cheap. But this is a great brand to resell. But this is a very nice brand and designer. It's from Aiden Maddox, which was a great find. This is in a size four. And dresses from him, her? I think it's a him. Dresses from this designer can like resell for $150, $200, sometimes more, sometimes less. It depends on the dress. Now, one of the keywords that when I was searching this to look up the comps on Poshmark, one of the keywords it was looking for was sequins, and that is what this is. So I think that that will make it a more popular style and it is full length. More full length, more long dresses tend to sell better than the short ones. So I feel like I can probably resell this for 150 bucks. That's what I'm kind of hoping for, and it's just so pretty. It has a few sequins missing here and there, but even with that being the case, I still think I can get at least $100 for it, which made picking it up for $15 worth it, especially since I got at least 10% off. I thought that was a gorgeous dress, like so beautiful, really stunning piece, and I'm excited to put it in my Poshmark closet and to cross-list it everywhere else too because man I've been cross-listing everything I've been listing lately and I feel like it will pay off eventually and then this is probably the most exciting thing I found that day it's the piece I mentioned at the beginning of the video it probably made it into the title and thumbnail who knows this is a really cool designer dress that I found in the dress section and it looks like this can you guess what designer this is this is from Jean-Paul Gaultier, the Soleil collection, Soleil line, the size medium, and I only paid $7.29 for this. So this is like the find of my day, the find of my six months, I don't even know. It's very exciting. I was looking up comps, I did a reverse image search because I wanted to make sure that this was real, and by golly it is. I found Kendall Jenner, was it Kendall? I found one of the Jenners wearing this, I found the exact listing of, I found listings of this or very similar items in different prints in the same fabric. It's definitely like a two layer mesh. And this is like a racer back. It's really cool. It's very kind of oriental. And there's a couple different ones with koi fish. So I found this exact same style of dress, just a different print that sold one month ago on eBay for $850 which gave me a minor like excited heart attack. Um, but I'm expecting that I can probably resell this if I'm patient for about the same amount. This is a size medium. The other one I think was a size small. It's really cool. It has this like Phoenix kind of vibe going on. That's what I'm kind of getting from it. We've got waves, we've got wings. It's really cool. It's really interesting and I paid seven dollars for it so feeling very good about that the amount into it versus what i should get out should be really good i don't see anything wrong with it it's a full length maxi dress but this was a great find very excited about it and i paid a great price for it if i can sell this even for five hundred dollars i would be happy with that especially since especially since i spent less than a hundred for everything I'm looking at those hokas. I'm looking at this John Paul Gaultier dress. I found those Pilk on the letterpress jeans. I've got that Aiden Maddox dress. Like it was a great haul if you know what I mean. Woo! So I really enjoyed, really, really enjoyed that haul. I love going thrifting with my friend Liz. She is just the sweetest and best. So please give her a shout out in the comments. She is pretty much my only friend here in Maryland. And so I'm really thankful to have her here for sure. Um, but thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll be going back to Second Avenue very soon. And also let me know which of those pieces was your favorite down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.